Hey, 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 it's Susie here. I'm feeling good. I just ate like a bunch of guacamole and I'm feeling really good. <laughs> I think it has to do with the health factor. Avocados are super good for you. So today we're gonna to be talking about a team, having a team when you are in business. Now, one of my dreams, like, I don't know where, it, oh, I know where it came from. I was watching The Holiday, okay? It's the movie with Cameron Diaz where she's working in her amazing house, right? And um, she has a team. She's doing video editing and her studio and she has the team, the girl from How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days and then the guy is from The Office, you know, John, whatever. Anyway, she's like super successful, cutting a trailer in her home office and she's fighting with her, her boyfriend or whatever. Okay, that scene like glued itself into my mind at some point. Must have been when I was like younger, before I was married. I've always wanted to have a team of people like in my house, in my work, in my business or at home or whatever. It was always a goal of mine. So even more than like a yacht or a yeah, mansions, like stuff like that, it's more for me about having like the luxury of having other people to help me out with stuff in everyday life and in business. So let's break it down. Let's talk about it. When you're starting out, of course, it might be a little bit harder for you to find the funds or get the funds to have a team, but I wanna address that right off the bat and say you can actually hire an intern um, or you can start out even like I'm doing right now. I have an intern and I have Amy, who's my assistant in my business, and she's not full-time, so it's not like I'm paying her a full-time salary. It's just, it's just a part-time basis, so you can start out anywhere from like four or $500 up to paying, you know, a thousand, two thousand, you know, all the way up to when your business grows, you can actually hire some full-time employees and that sort of a thing. So just to open it up, that conversation, look, you don't have to hire a full-time employee to have a team around you. So I'm loving right now that I have my intern I'm loving that I have Amy coming in here. She brings me amazing coffee. She comes into my office. I love it. We powwow, we talk, we, we laugh, we talk about ridiculous things, and then we get to work, right? So it's very fun. It's also a great way for you to feel less lonely when you're in business. And sure, oftentimes people are gonna start out with more of like a virtual assistant or something like that. And that's fine too. If you can find someone in person though, I love it. It's great. <laughs> like it's, it's just really fun to have someone else to work with. Um, I spent a lot of time being by myself when I was running my blog and even when I was working part-time uh, from home. If you guys know my story, I was working in the past for a couple different marketing agencies and things. And it was kind of lonely to always be by myself. So this shift has been really good for me. So talking about tasks and delegating, let's jump into that. You're gonna want to make a list of things that you wanna delegate, a list of things that were like dreamy, would love for this to happen, but you just don't get around to it. For me, that was uh, growing my YouTube following is something I wanna do, and so I'm gonna have my assistant or my intern actually help me with that and grow my Instagram, so she's gonna be helping me employ a bunch of strategies and things that I don't have time to do. Another thing that I delegate is the running errands and stuff in my own life. Like when I start a program, I'll often ship stuff to my clients or people who buy my program, um, my customers. And so Amy will, you know, she'll package up the t-shirts and the notebooks, you know, my little goodies that I ship out to my clients and customers. And she takes care of that for me, which is awesome. And she brings me receipts and whatever so that I can keep track of expenses and things like that. Um, Amy is also helping me, my assistant, she's helping me out with some community management stuff on Facebook. So it's really up to you. Oh, another thing that comes to mind is PR and uh, getting new opportunities for exposure. You know, I know uh, the, the ropes you know, I, I may not be an expert, but I know the ropes of reaching out to magazines and um, different, you know, publications and different partners and things. I just literally don't have time to get to it all because you guys probably know uh, with my kids being at preschool only about four or five hours a day, 
After that, it's really mommy time. Like I don't really work. I can't really focus on work, I should say. Maybe I listen to a podcast or read a book, but in reality, I have to get a lot of my stuff done within about four or five hours a day because then my kiddos come home and it's really family time. So <clears throat> all of those elements that I've been trying to delegate off things that I'm not super wanting to do. You know, there have been times where I've hired a copywriter to help me with certain copy because I just kind of hit a wall and was like, I don't feel like writing the sales page for this one or, or just needed another person to work with. It's really powerful, all right? So get it out there, build a team, start small, know what you want to create. You know, that's another huge tip. For me, it's like, I always wanted the team, you know, and I kind of wanted to have some people local. And so I feel really grateful that that's really come true and that we really have a great energy. Um, I should mention that my intern, I met her at a speaking event. So I spoke at, at an event and she was there. And um, so we connected that way and she just really wanted and valued my mentorship. And so we created an agreement that way. With that being said, I hope I have inspired some ideas for you. I hope you get out there and build your team if that's what you wanna do. It is much more fun than working by yourself, even if you're a solopreneur. So create that vision, know what you're looking to make uh, or create and design in your business and your lifestyle and go for it. Go out into that world and make a difference and get paid in the process. So I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye-bye. Shining just a little more bright. I think the stars might be hanging.